Hello, everybody. Welcome back. You, you're not going to say it? No? No, welcome? No, not no. today. All right. He's welcome tired. back. Thank you. <laughs> you're He's welcome. Um, <laughs> we're going to talk to you about Puckle Pop today. And Who if you've not pop? heard of it, you're about to. And if you haven't heard of it, why aren't you going to watch the video so you know all about it? Good idea. Good point. You should definitely yeah. do I'm going to do that, do that right now. Yeah. Do that. I mean, we can't. It's not uploaded for us yet. Yeah, well doesn't even exist yet. <laughs> Is it not? <laughs> might, might not. It might not ever <laughs> exist, God. So this time, Chock and me both didn't go. So no. Double again. not go. S- two boys who did, two boys who didn't. There's a small squad, this one. Me, Rob and Mary. That is a small squad. I've heard you're all cramped into one tent. God. There, there, was, there was some certain experiences this weekend that... Uh, I was ones I don't want to repeat. That's for sure. Oh really? I bet yeah. Rob's had the worst sleeping experience. What uh, this weekend? Yeah. Um. Yeah, you sleep like a log. Yeah, I do. I didn't sleep too bad, but it's just more the concept and idea yeah. of it. Yeah. For me, it's I, I know the other two people who you're with and what they sleep like. Him, mm. a snorer. I was pretty good. And is like is uh, I only had to give him one nudge to be fair this it, weekend. A is, nudge. He's a very warm man as well. I am well, warm. Well, do you know what? I, it wasn't my fault the tent was warm to be fair. So well, that was unavoidable. No. Yeah. I I'm don't that know. right now. You're looking at <laughs> it. It's too warm. <laughs> it's too warm. Yeah, mate. It's too it fucking is warm. warm in it this is living warm. Room. So Puckle Pop, okay? Right. It was a festival that we booked Oops. fairly late because there was a couple of options as to what to go to. Just made yeah. the same fucking mistake that we made last year. It's so dumb. Yeah, while leaving it kind of last minute. But do you know what? It was it was it was good because we kind of looked at the lineup, and when originally when we looked at the lineup, we were like, eh, not really too sure on that. But actually, we kind of talked ourselves into thinking it was actually pretty good. Who was on it? Who were the big names? <sighs> Billy, Billy Eilish, right. Florence and the Machine right. pulled out. Oh, the Killers. Chasing status. Hey. Um, Falls, nothing but thieves. Nothing but thieves. Bear tooth. Bear tooth. Well, it's not a bad lineup. Not there was it, good stuff it, like um, Turnstile, mm-hmm. Knocked Loose, um, on Dadek Khan Sound System. Yeah. <laughs> What's that? Average Rob. G- oh. Guy from Tomorrowland who we oh. missed because we had to go on the Friday. Oh, fair. It, it's, I, don't, I don't know if, the, if this is what it's called, but it certainly f- felt like Belgium's version of Leeds Fest. It had like it's kind of like mainstream elements, but then sprinkling here and there, you had your kind of like dance music, and you had your like rock stuff, and you know, it, yeah, it just felt felt kind of like that kind of vibe. And actually, apparently, it's meant to happen the same weekend, but they pushed it back this year for some reason. Probably because the new Leeds Fest lineup was so good, everyone's going to go to that instead well, of issue, issue is it's so the same. <laughs> <laughs> like but that's been the issue with so many. We were saying that we might as well get on the fucking plane with the bands, yeah, because they're going to Leeds and then Electric Picnic straight after this yeah. fucking Puckle Pop. Like, can we just go with Brandon Flowers? <laughs> <laughs> just drop, drop them a text after the gig. Yeah. See if they'll let you on. Uh, we, uh, we, uh, we, uh, uh, well, once, once, every week. once Killers had played that last note, we were straight out of there. <laughs> Did they bring any Russians on stage this time? No, thankfully, no Russians. Ooh. It's interesting, there were a lot of people wanting to play drums, but they didn't let anyone on this time around. <laughs> what have you been up to, Chuck? <laughs> what have I been up to? <laughs> yeah. I was just in London, mate. Yeah. When London seen Joji. Yeah, he was, oh, Joji, yeah he, was Joji, at, Joji was at, 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 at Pop. Pop. Yeah, Did he you was, see him? Nope. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You'll understand why we didn't go see him. But yeah, he was, uh, he was good in London. Uh, mm-hmm. But London is shit, as London we all know. Shit. Yeah, is, I'm not uh, a fan. Yeah, it's at just wank, expensive... Took an hour and a half to get out of Gunnersby Park. Yeah. Because they just kept slamming like fucking barriers and going, stop. Oh, that's... T- and then I've 20 got, minutes will, later they go, all right, you can go a bit. And then go, stop. Must be a new part that, though. Yeah. Gunners, Gunnersbury. Never, never, oh, been, to, get, never up, been to Gunnersbury. Man. God. What, where is Gunnersbury? Where have you fucking wanted to be? You knew where I went about. <laughs> Interested? <laughs> you did say something wrong, though, Chucks. So. Yeah, I did say <laughs> something wrong. You, up on this you one. know what? Doesn't matter. Hey, you know what, mate? It's all good, man. We're all still good. brothers. Yeah, anyway, back to sharing the tent. Big, big well, sweaty you know boy. What? There's, there's kind of there's kind of a bit before that. So we us three we went to a lovely festival in Belgium a couple of weeks ago, didn't we? Mm, we did indeed. Tomorrowland, tomorrow great, land. great festival. However, we had a bit of an issue. We went to a really terrible airport. We did go. So to... Brussels has two airports. Lo and behold, one's just nowhere near anything. So what did we do for this holiday? 
Let me guess. <laughs> we booked that hotel. We, we booked that airport again. Why did you say hotel? I don't know. Cause uh, I'm tired. Hey, we booked uh, that again uh, just because it is cheap, but it works it out. Wasn't it wasn't because it was cheap. Like, oh, was it not? No, it was because it was the only one. Oh, serving the times. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. God, that's annoying. Well, the th- this festival was uh, kind of the same distance, but instead of what we did for Toronto by going via Brussels, we went straight there. 448 oh, euros yeah. later. That is mad. We All got right. to the uh, festival. That's such a, it was such that, a con. It, it was terrible. Cause I was dreading it. Like for a week in advance, I was mm-hmm. dreading like just getting in that taxi because I just hate, I don't mind spending money, but I just hate being ripped off. Yeah. yeah. And like that, knowing that like there's no way that that amount of money is worth that journey, but we, it's the only option. Because you can't get Uber or anything like that. Was there a... So there, there was trains, but it got us in so late. We needed to get there before 10 p.m. Yeah. To collect our accreditation. Right. And get in the taxi and then pretty much fucking power walking from the taxi to the box office, yeah. which was a, di- a little bit of a way. Yeah. Um, we got there like literally, I'm not even joking. It was literally like five to 10. Yeah. Fucking hell. Jesus. And yeah. then, and, and it just all just kind of. It, it was it was just Stop, really so, hard work. <laughs> yeah, it yeah. was. It was just proper hard work. The whole week has been really fucking hard work. Mm-hmm. And it was... It's the only one that's felt like that. Yeah. So fair enough. Like, I can live with that. But it's interesting because we were saying, like, it's the, it's the first one where between that and the last one, we've had a full five days yeah. of time off as yeah. in not at a festival. So you'd think, oh, we'd be well rested, well rested, but it was actually the worst one. Yeah, it was hard. Um, was it hard just to get back into that mindset after? No, it's it's not, not, not that, no. It was, it was the stress of like, are we going to make it? And what if we don't make it? There then, was like so what, many hurdles before yeah, that. Yeah, it was like going to Coachella mm. when like we needed to go to the box office before like yeah. a certain time. It was exactly that. Yeah. But like there's so many variables like... If your flight's delayed by even 40 minutes we worked out, then it's fucked up and it's game over. Yeah, yeah. And like, then where do we go? Because we can't, Brussels is like an hour away from this festival. Yeah. We can't just go to Brussels for the night out. And then even if we went to Brussels, we then have to look at a hotel, which is then another, ex- like it was. Plus you'd have to get a taxi back as well, which is another. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah, it, yeah. it just became like terribly expensive. Yeah, it did. And, and it, for no it reason was, at all. It was just so not worth it. No, yeah. it really wasn't. It, sound it. it was the tent that we had. It, it's a shame because Puckle Pop's probably great. Yeah, I agree. And I don't I don't believe it's not great. I think it probably is great. Well, we spoke to a lot of people that I've been saying they've been going to this festival since, you know, 2009 kind of thing. Like, they've been going really? for years. It was just just our vibe that we were on. Yeah. Because of the stress and the rushing. And then we got there, like, just at 10, as I said, like, right at, like, 10 o'clock. Which was great because it was like actually we've got enough time now to go go in still go into the festival, and we've not the headliner hadn't even, Billy hadn't even started yet. She didn't start till eleven, so oh, the we could sit, yeah, so oh, we could still cool, go in, have some drinks, and then watch her as well. Yeah. So that was kind of a bit of a oh okay cool, but we still had to then go to the tent. So we'd paid for a pre pitched tent, hadn't we? Yeah, and this is the thing like we paid for it. We pay, this is the the recurring theme of like just costs not. Again, spending money, as you know, we don't have a fucking problem spending money and we'll tell you all about that. Professionals. We are literally professionals at spending shitloads of money. But Especially on stuff like But spending like useful. 440 euros on the fucking taxi and then we spent 250 quid on the, like the, they call it like the chill, like the easy chill tent and... Mm-hmm. You know, I don't think I'm a particularly glamorous person. I've lived in that fucking shitty, cheapest 30 quid oh, tent all on, summer. Don't be, don't be awful to it. And it's I nice love tent. it. I love it. And I have a real sentimental attachment to it. Yeah, me to too. Me too. And in the winter, I'll be setting up in here and having a night in it. Like, I, I love that thing. Yeah. So I'm happy in like a not fancy thing. But to be crammed into that shitty tent, and it was a double air bed and then a single, yeah. instead of three singles... And it was just, and it didn't come with a sleeping bag. It didn't, no. So really? well, like, we or knew that and we packed yeah. it. We packed our sleeping bag. But like, where's your money going? Yeah. Just on a Because it was, li- it was, li- so we, we were trying to like find this exact tent online. We got to our tent at bang on 10. Did we? To the, to the, yeah, to yeah. the minute. And we got our accreditation at 53 minutes past nine. So wow. that's how. That's and that was like with, you know, really kind of. Like just being in the Uber and like, you know, 
couldn't see the sat nav. So having to keep checking on maps, yeah. like how long is it, how long, how much time are we going to have from the Uber? It was just stressful. Yeah, it was, it was. It does sound... I mean, I will annoying. admit, the taxi driver was quite nice. Like, he, he didn't speak, but I had a bit of a conversation with him, like, as I was paying him. What's via the mind? He didn't no, speak. no, no, no. Like, sorry, while, 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 language. while the driver was, was on, we didn't speak. But, and, but when it was come to the payment, I mean, obviously, it's going to be nice. I'm giving him a fuckload of money. But uh, it was like, here's my card. If you want picking up on Monday morning, give me a call. Yeah, I wonder yeah, why. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Don't not. worry, mate. I'll do it 50 quid cheaper. But, but he, he, he was kind of nice. But going back to the tent, it's like, we book this thing and it says three people tent. And it's like, right, cool. Like, I, I get that, you know, and there's been things like that before that you've seen. This was the bare minimum though, wasn't it? Absolutely. It was the absolute bare minimum. But it's like when you, when it was a literally a three man tent. Yeah. And we all know that if it's a whatever many man oh, tent, yeah, you, need you have to at least double that. Now we're not asking for anything here, but it's. For but, the price, though. Because we we look, we look tried to find the tent, and we found one nigh on exactly the same, and it was about 70 quid. Really? And it's like, where where's the rest of that How much money? was the ticket to do that? 250, 250 quid. 260. Oh, 260. You could literally just yeah. buy the but entire the, the, set. The, but that was the thing. It's like, well, we're against the clock, because Mary weren't available, and because Raz pulled out. Like, we didn't really have an option. Within, like, within like two weeks yeah. of the event. Like, fair enough, Mary's got... Really valid reason, but Raz just kind of, uh, you know, and I guess fair enough to Raz, but like it's why we need to have this stuff planned way further in yeah. advance. Because what was even potentially just a drive, not saying Raz should have driven, no. but like, you know, we, we literally had conversation about maybe we should drive it again. Yeah. And, and you know, it wasn't like a, no, I'm not going. No. It was a, yeah, maybe. So then like, that's the maybe. So then, you know, we could drive. We could stop off at a decathlon. Oh, in fact, we can just take our tent. Yeah, we can literally just take yeah. our run. But when the plan kind of the plan was never, I want to make it clear the plan was never like set in stone. But it was, it wasn't said this is not happening. Yeah. So it was kind of assumed that it, it was, was in purgatory a bit. Like we didn't really know what was going on. And then it was all right. kind of too late. So we we got the accreditation, which was great. Um, Puck and Pop were like, "Oh, we really like your vibe, and we think you'd be yeah. really good." <laughs> Wait till you see our <laughs> but, but then it's like right so. So we can we can fly, but the tent won't fit in our like literally our carry on no. backpack. No. So then it's like, what do you do? You've either got to go to Decathlon when you land, which you didn't we wouldn't. Have, we would have no. lost the full day then, yeah. the full night. Or you've just got to suck it up and fucking pay it, and that's what we had to do. Yeah. You know, we we will come to this, but we almost booked a hotel. Yeah, we did. But like, it was just we just wasted so much money already that mm -hmm. like I think my kind of. Well, we'll co we'll come to like the hotel conversation, yeah. but yeah, it was just hard work. And then we got there, and I was like, as you can imagine, like I'm like the most stressed, mm -hmm. really. And then I'm making like Mary stressed, but Mary's like taking piss, and she literally said, "I'm ready," because she said like yeah. she does this thing like where it's a real specific amount of minutes, and she'll go, "I'll be three minutes or I'll be four minutes," which is like a considered amount. Yeah. So then I'm thinking that's going to be four minutes. And then in six minutes, <laughs> she's like, I'm ready, I'm ready. I just need to get changed. And it's like, and that was her exact quote. So like, yeah. that's stressing me out. So I'm stood outside, I'm just waiting to leave. I've just got my AirPods in my hand and I'm just fidgeting with them to try and keep myself like busy. <laughs> that's stressing her out. Jake's just stood there like Chilling. in between us. <laughs> um, my kid while mum and dad fight. Literally. And then like, we, you know, we got out and we were like, right, sorry that we've all been stressed. Let's get, and this was another big error that yeah, we made. It was. Let's just get cataclysmically hammered. It, yeah. Because it's worked everywhere else. It worked at Tomorrowland. It works. It wor and I'll tell, you, time, I'll yeah. tell you where it works. When it's not your first day and when yeah. you're not. The thing is, we were speed running the wine menu. Yeah. Oh. So, so, right. So, I know what you're thinking here. Like, well, Tomorrowland was our first day. But, and also, boom, I was thinking. Yeah. yeah but. The, that there was a much larger window to do that because you had more time yeah. in the day, and arguably, I still don't think it was. We 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 kind of went to the next step. <laughs> <laughs> like that. What buckle pop? Yeah, because yeah. so we we got there. We, right, we right. walked into the festival grounds at twenty two eleven. Cool, right? Yeah. And we left the festival grounds. I left. Yeah, at twenty past two. 
Wow. So there's not... A, you were out later than yeah, me, yeah. me and Mary. I got absolutely apparently, apparently, According to Mary, we got in around like four. What, you and Mary? Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck were you doing? Well, well, we'll talk about that. But so we got there and we're like, well, let's get drunk. And I can't remember what the first drink was. It was wine. Was it oh, wine? Oh, no. No. Did we get a beer in the campsite? So that was yes, it, yeah. we did. So there were, in the campsite, there was like a bar, we're like, right, let's get some beers. The annoying thing, the annoying thing about European festivals. There are the small cups. The small that, bit. but I actually don't, I don't really care about that. Tokens. Tokens. Oh, so matter. you had I've to. still got some from uh, Wurcher. Physical. No, 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 no. Yeah, tokens. but physical paper tokens. Oh. Yeah. For everything. Yeah. This isn't just on the campsite. This is everything you transact. Just aside see, from buying your tokens, just obviously. Let me pay on Apple. Just right. pay an Apple card. It's it was so annoying. So basically one token equated to like three. About 350 on it. Yeah. It was it was the same value as everywhere else. Yeah, it was of course. Just, you know. Annoying. Like with that, you introduced the option to lose some. Yeah. And guess what? Some got lost, of course. Guess who lost them? <laughs> Mez. Yeah. Um, she found them later. She was just drunk. But um, but then it's like, okay, so let's have a let's have a cut. Let's have a drink in here. So you get your drink and you've got to pay for your cup again yeah. with another token. And then you can't take that cup into the arena. Mm. So you might as well get a refund on that. And it, it was just so convoluted. It we just shit. wanted to to we just wanted to to just get hammered. What, yeah. What I'm hearing is some very stressed boys wanting to get as hammered as possible yeah, and you're getting yeah. like speed bumps in the way of yeah, getting hammered. Yeah, absolutely. So, Man, that was even it. Which, which then made us want to drink more. even yeah, more. Yeah, I'm and already that's, And that's it. exactly what happened. So I got my first drink, downed it, went straight for another one. So we had another two there and then, and then we're like, well, let's go in. So we went in to, um, to the festival. To the festival. Which was just over the road. It's like... Um, you can imagine it kind of like Rock Wurcher. Yeah. So very like but, the whole streets like partying. Oh really? There's yeah. some like houses that are, that have created like their own bars outside. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Yeah. It, I mean, it, a bit like park life. Yeah. Pretty, exactly pretty, pretty like cool that, vibe. But yeah. Um, but so super close. Like yeah, so just you, literally you got, facing the campsite. It's literally opposite side of the road. So yeah. you just leave camping, cross the road, and there's the, your puck a pop sign. Like, yeah. Just like it, it's got some shared DNA with Rock Wurcher. Yeah. It has the same like, like branding image, and yeah. design. Even though it's not run by the same people and the lineup's totally different, there's some kind of shared. It's DNA interesting. There. So, like, <laughs> here's a really boring thing for you. I've got some assets from Rock Virtue for some, like, stuff I've made. And I've gone on, like, the um, inspect elements. And, like, you know, like, there's some, like, PNG images of, like, certain, like, shapes or whatever. Yeah. And those exact shapes were used at Puckle Pop. Yeah. So, it's just, like, really small, like, details like that. And, like, the colour scheme. Square. Square yeah. <laughs> shit and um, rhombus, the most uncommon of and, shit. And it was the you know it was a, not all the same, but like some of the brand activations were the same. Like yeah. the guitar, yeah. Oh, yeah. There. So it felt like you know it felt like going into Rockwurcher for the first time, but it was dark. You couldn't see anything. No. And anything you can see, you've already seen before. Yeah. And Muse out there this time, <laughs> and it's like right, no Stormzy okay. either. No Stormzy. Mumford. No, no Mumford. Mumford. Terrible. No Liam, no 1975, no Kasabian. Fuck yeah, I forgot they were there as well. Yeah, it was a good one with Rock Wurcher. Oh, that, that was the problem, Rock Wurcher yeah, was too so good. good. So we go to the wine bar, which isn't like it was at Rock Wurcher. No, no. It's just a bar. Yeah. Just a, like a stall. Just oh, at the perfect. side of the main bar. So at the main bar, you can only get beer. Yeah. No, the no, bar, no spirits all weekend. Like Beer and Desperados. Anywhere. Well. I thought, oh, that is a beer. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. A bit spicy though, isn't it? Than the yeah. regular beer. A little bit of tequila. And then you've got there's vodka bars and there's wine bars. And we well, no, the, oh, the only place you could get vodka was the VIP area. Was it? Yeah. Interesting. That is weird. That is very strange. Oh yeah, it was actually, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Um, we so we just had the wines. Yeah, we had we had them um, like press access, but yeah, that's what we did. We stood and Billy came on and we just stood as a three. Having a great chat, yeah. Just chatting all the way through Billy's set. Like we'd maybe we'd, 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 we'd maybe we'd like stop for like a song. It was nowhere near the stage though. It was no, like, no, no. It 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 wasn't. We we, we were we were like stood. We were it, 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 it was if you were like lent on the bar, like oh, at a pub yeah, kind of thing. Fine. And we had the first thing I did was gl glass of prosecco. Yep. Then glass of rosé prosecco. Then glass of rosé wine. Then glass of white wine. And we just kept Ooh, going. Like just kept going. Like throughout all of Billy's set. And, and we just did it. Size, with, good size little cups, weren't they? Yeah. Because we weren't thinking about it. Because we were just talking. It wasn't as if we were just stood there watching it. Because we were just stood talking. 
it just kind of like flowed. Oh yeah, it just gets next. Yeah. On it. So then, obviously, Billy had ended. I mean, we, me, we did stop for a couple of songs for Billy, and I, I think she's all right. It was quite good. Um, I like Billy. Yeah, it was. Well, then good. at the end of it, it was like, right, God, we're we're hammered right now. <laughs> and what did we do after that? Let's. Look, we went to the VIP. Was it? So there's the. We had a VIP. I don't have it on. Oh, it, it was well, a. It was well, just, shit is yeah. Respond. It was the press wristband is just a paper one, which is a shame. There's been a lot of shit ones. Yeah, that yeah has we've got a real short straw with in terms of wristbands. Thankfully, I found someone else on the floor on the way home. Yeah, I love the yeah. valves. But yeah, we, so we could go in the VIP bit, but that's a paid upgrade as well if you want to buy it. So mm-hmm. it's I don't know how much a, a ticket is normally for the festival. I don't know the VIP ticket for the festival was like two hundred and some twenty euros. Yeah, so. It doesn't seem too expensive. And that's for the festival as well. That's not just yeah. for the VIP yeah, yeah. upgrade. And you go in there and it's a nice bar with like, you know, probably a bit better service. You can buy tokens on site at that yeah. bar. It's got like um, live video feeds of like various stages. Oh, yeah, it's that's got that's indoors that's and outdoors bit and it's all served in glassware. Yeah. And this was great. Um, so when you go when you go to the bar outside of the VIP and you get a beer or a, specifically a Desperados, which I was drinking quite a lot, it's one and a half tokens. So you can literally rip the token in half and that's half a token. Yeah, so and that's literally what, what you do. Yeah. And um, and you get, you know, your little cup of Desperados and they pour it in and it it's, and it's froths up at the top. Oh, yeah. And yeah, it's like so a, you get a bit, a little less. And no lime. But in the VIP area, you get it in the bottle straight out yeah. of the fridge with a, oh, with nice. a lime in. And that was great. Mm-hmm. But Mary ordered these two double... She's an idiot. Like, she doesn't like, I, 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 this, is, this is a top tip from me specifically, but all of us. There is no point in ordering doubles in European countries. Completely no. pointless. Because a sink, they because they're free pour everything... A single will get you. A single is our normal double. I'd say even more. Yeah, sometimes. I agree. So you, there's no, there is physically no point in getting a double in a European. They put country. so much in a single that they must put less than two singles in a double. Yeah, because they're going to be yeah. thinking about it. Yeah, as opposed yeah, to just probably. here's this person's drink. Let's get it done until I'm de- till I've decided. There you go. When you've got to think, this person wants two x. Yeah, yeah, you're going to put less in per one and yeah. end up with probably a one point five instead of a two. Yeah. Um, so Mary got two doubles. These there were these nice tall glasses, yeah. tall narrow glasses, and it was just vodka and ice in them. Literally, I th- it must have been. Uh, well, I'll say Mary got two. Sorry, she didn't. She ordered one for me. Yeah, and you were like, "No, nah, I don't want it." And it was gonna be ten tokens. Yeah, for two which drinks, is, thirty-five quid. Yeah, oh. it's thirty thirty-five quid for yeah, two you're right doubles, and, and um. We only had, f- I had five on me, so I gave him five. And then I was like, give us a sec, just go get five more tokens off Vals who'd gone to sit down with his beer or whatever. Lazy bastard. And um, and he, t- he was like, yeah, cool. And then just started serving someone else. So I just grabbed the drinks and fucking ran off. <laughs> 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 ah, bargain. We love and, it. And um, so we got them for still pretty expensive. Yeah. But, but I just couldn't drink it. I couldn't even get through it. I had my head on the table. Yeah. I mean, and it was at this point here where things, because we were already drunk at this point, bear in mind. Hammered. We, hammered. But Richard. this is just where it just turned up to 11. Like, cause, so Rob couldn't finish that one. So did I finish that for you? I, I've, I don't know. All I know is we, that the VIP area faces like a, a, an EDM stage. Yeah. And they they put the EDM from the speakers in the, in the area stage. as well, which is quite good. In that, yeah. That's quite good. Yeah, so it was really good. Um, so we were just stood, sat drinking them. And so I think I had that. And then at well, some point, Rob left because he, he couldn't. He, he Did he just, do his typical autopilot? He just kind of gets up and yeah. disappears. There's a lot of Literally times where you'll, you'll, I you'll could be, barely one, walk up. One yeah. second, you'll be like this. And then the next second, it's like, you know, you're just it, going, no, no, no it, it, wasn't even, it wasn't even like that bit. There was like none of oh, that. It, it was like stump, full on, head, down, just full on, like, head yeah, down on the table. It was just zero to 100 too quick. And there was no to keep me. Or entertained. Oh, we'd gone to see DJ Fresh after Billy. Yes, we went to see that DJ was it. Fresh. Yeah, of course. But like, we just couldn't lock a vibe. Like the three of us, it just didn't work. No. It just didn't work as a three uh, with us three. No. We just couldn't get the vibe right. Either one person was totally vibing off or all three of us were slightly different. And if me and Jake were vibing, Mary wasn't. And if yeah. Mary and Jake were vibing, then you I were. wasn't. So like in DJ Fresh, I want to like, I want to dance and kind of get energetic and stuff. Mary and 
thingy. They're Jake. just too warm. <laughs> Mary, Mary, <laughs> right. yeah. Mary and Jake, just too warm. And, and you know, like- God, when, it was hot in that when, tent. No, though. it was hot. But when you've got someone to like bounce your yeah, complaints yeah. off that agrees with you, yeah, yeah, yeah. you're going to get stuck in a complaint cycle. So then I'm just kind of dancing on my own. You're losing your vibe. And, and that happened in, in reverse. Yeah, across it did the weekend, for all of so us. Yeah. Know, no disrespect to it. Sometimes it worked, sometimes it didn't. And this weekend, it just didn't work. No. Like no one was on the same page, I feel, for like- one part of this festival. No. That's an eye no, that's a lie. I wanted to go. <laughs> the uh, the Sunday when we went oh, into the festival. Yeah. <laughs> We're all on the same vibe then. Went to the what? Oh, we'll get to that. Um, but yeah, so me and Mary, we just stayed out until nearly like four o'clock, just getting hammered. It's a late one, that. Well, that's yeah. an example of the same thing, but where I'm not on the vibe. Yeah. You know, just to hold myself there. We were just getting drunk and dancing to... Because that wherever I was playing music, we were playing like some like proper songs. Yeah. What did Mary say? They played the proper version of... Hide and Seek by Imogen Heap. There you go. Um, what the fuck's that? A very famous song. <laughs> You'll know if you heard it. Um, yeah, we just got drunk and we came back to the tent and the tent was so hot. Even with just robbing it, it was so I'd hot. I'd been sick. Outside yeah. the tent. <laughs> I don't think that affects Ooh. it being warm. Yeah, it does but no, I just want to get that in there. <laughs> sure, you know. It was behind the tent, so it yeah. wasn't. Weird. Nice smell coming um, into the tent at night. It also makes your body hotter having a, yeah, a job because you're, you're tensing. It, 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 it was, I was warm, too drunk though. to be warm, mate. It was, it was warm, though. So, but, so we came back, and it was just one of those where, like, what, like, this is just unbearable. So we had to just sleep with, like, both doors open yeah. just to let a constant air And flow. would you believe it, mate? Like... So Mary's on, if you're Single. facing the door of the tent, you're laid down. Mary, Mary's on the right hand side. The right, then Jake in the middle, then me on the left. And just as you open that last bit of door over the thing. Floodlight. Massive floodlight. <laughs> oh, lovely. Right in my eyes. <laughs> and you know I hate lights and I'm particularly, I feel I'm particularly sensitive I, I think, to light. I think I've learnt that since the uh, I was sleeping with my rectangle. sunglasses on. Yeah, I literally woke up, looked at Rob, just sat there with, laid there with sunglasses on. It's like, who the fuck do you think I you are? I can't do that. What if you roll over and like, it, right? and digs in? Mm. Especially with those lenses though, because they're already uh, shattered. Well, I, I remember after that first night, because I slept with my parabellum on, I was so close at a couple of points during the midnight, because I remember waking up of just stabbing the airbed with it. Oh, it's so, like, I, I love it, but yeah. it's so ir irritating sleeping with that thing. Yeah. Like, if you forget about it, you just stab yourself. Mm. I don't really have that issue with it, but I've only slept in it maybe three times. Not restlessly. I think it's only been, like, once or twice for me, but it's still stabbing. It is a scythe, though, isn't it? It's like, yeah, <laughs> good point. Yeah. Have you got the golden snitch around your neck? It's a basketball. Oh, that's cool. It's, it's a basketball. basketball. Oh, that's good. It does look like the golden snitch. It does look like the golden snitch, though, doesn't it? You potter nerd, man. Get, I know. Get out, get out. Oh, we'll, well, we'll well you should have said You say one thing and all of a sudden it's like, well. well. So we woke up. You guys got in. Mary had the, the best burger she's ever had in her life. Would you believe? <laughs> she says that all the time. She does know. say that. She's like, it was like it was taken straight from a cow. It was like, like and a steak, not then. processed. And not like put together, but the whole, what? I then had one later on and it was, just what she meant was, it was so processed. It was just a slab of like, meat. like, you know how you get like, like a, a smashed patty? Yeah. Like, like, and that's nice and desirable. Yeah. This was like, it was nice, but it was clearly like machined. Yeah. Bicky. Like, like to yeah. say, to say that it was as if it was, wasn't like processed is the complete it's opposite. Complete, yeah. Totally wrong there, Mez. Um, and also, we asked for a burger. They'd obviously ran out of burger buns, so just get, cut it in half and give us it in a hot dog bun, which yeah, just wasn't really the same vibe. Such a, the same. What? Such a, yeah. And it was like a it was like a cross between a hot dog bun and like a hard baguette. Yeah. Oh, that's so shit. it just didn't work no. for for the for did, eating. The did burger. it not have the Rock Virtue style food vendors? Yeah, it yeah, did. It it had did, all the yeah. same ones, so, but this was in the campsite. Oh, fair. Yeah. Um, How was your morning then? <sighs> How was your morning? Because it sounds like you were all warm. And we were hungover. I, I, I've not been that hungover in a very, very, I, I, very. We must time. have deserved it because yeah, we have been hungover for fucking ages, and no. all we do is cane fucking cans. I, I think the last time, maybe the last time we were hungover was the party in London, where we woke up yeah, to a guy yeah, opening right. the door because I was fucking hanging yeah, that night. God, but I since about then. That. I've kind of been all right. Yeah, I agree. Like but said, I was I was so hungover then. I was warm, 
sweaty, hungover. What I was time like, did you both get up? That's why we I'm were up quite late. We must have woken up because we all had. Well, me and Mary had like our eye masks on. Rob had his sunglasses on, so we kind of like slept through that morning light, and we didn't really wake up until about eleven. Not Maybe quite. Yeah, half that, it that was, was as late as that. Yeah, I was going to say, it boom, didn't we? Well, no, but, but then again, for someone like me that wakes up at like nine o'clock every morning and it's like, right, I'm up now. 11 or 4, we, we, I'll tell you, we're bang on with these times. <laughs> yeah. You got the timestamps on all of them. First thing we did was me and Vals went for a shower. Yeah, because I had to, I had to go for it. Well, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Technically, yeah. Um, we were so hungover, so sweaty that we just had to like go for a shower. And there were some showers. We I walked know. to it. Was the biggest queue for a shower no. I've ever seen, and I know, I know, it's like, well, yeah, of course, it's gonna be. This you was can't fathom. This was mad. That's... I haven't seen a queue, like, because the thing is, it was like, it was the longest shower queue I've ever seen. If it was single file, yeah, in terms of the length of the yeah. queue, but it was like eight file, yeah. It was so terrible. it was like f- really wide and really fucking long. long. Like and we, we, uh, we, were, we were like, oh, here we go. And we decided to just bottle that, didn't we? Yep. And we went to, did I tell you about this yesterday, the Lynx thing? <sighs> yeah, you did. So listen to this. I'm listening. Quite a good idea, really. Yeah. Next to the showers, mm-hmm. there's a Dove and a Lynx. Or Axe. Brand activation. Yeah. Axe, sorry, yeah. Brand activation. For people who don't know what that means, because we've said it a few times, it's like the standee and it's sponsored by a brand and it's like, come in and spray the Lynx on for free. Yeah. And each one of these had one shower in them, like a proper glass shower cubicle. Um, and it was like, come into the shower, use the links. It had like instructions like, number one, get in the shower and wet your body. Number two, use the links. We've got some nice links here for you. Number two, wash no, the suds double off. Double number two. <laughs> <laughs> number, number, number three, wash the suds off. Number four, um, get out and dry yourself. Number five, spray yourself with the links. links yeah. But the... Because there's one shower, you've just got a queue of lads just watching the lad in front of them shower. Yeah. There was some like um, stickers on the shower glass just to make it look a bit more appealing. But if you were going to put a sticker there, you'd put it surely covering really? your kind of like... Yeah, the only yeah. bit that was fully visible was like the groin of the guy. <laughs> it's so uh, swimwear dumb. was mandatory. Yeah. So it's not like that anyone was naked in there, but it... it God, it, it would have been just weird. It, it would be weird if yeah. everyone were like, "Yeah, get off, get in the shower." But that that queue was significant, significantly smaller. Sure. Was um, it still a long? It queue, only though? took us maybe half an hour, didn't it? Yeah, absolutely, it was and, fine. And but the pressure of like being in there, because ta- when you go into a massive one with eight showers per like unit, mm. and it's like closed ten off. Unit, you get in there and you can. Do you know what? If I want to spend an hour in here, then no problem. Yeah. yeah. But there, where there's one and everyone's waiting, watching you. Like, I, I mean, it's good, right? really. Yeah. Well, because yeah. what, 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 part of the branding of it was something about it being fast and something. I can't remember what it was specifically, but I remember the word fast being used. Now, that first time we used it, there was no timer on it. Like, you could technically be in there as long as you want, but you kind of knew, like, be quick with it. I went the next morning, and there was a two-minute timer on it. So there was a person there, two-minute timer. Once you've gone over that, knock on the thing. Right, get out now. Great. And, and that's the way it should have been. Like, because guess what? If you want a long shower... Go join that other yeah. queue. What well, if you want to wash your hair, though? Yeah, I mean, I, I literally minutes. did it in two minutes. Really? Yeah. I tell you, but See. annoying. If you washed yourself, no, you, you got yourself all nice and wet. Put, it up. Put, <laughs> put all the suds on, then they bang and say, time is done. And you went, can I just, nope, just get out. Fully sorted. They, they, they were all yeah, right Yeah, you joined the back of the queue again. <laughs> they are all right with it. But it was, it was good. It was just, it was just so needed, but we were just still so hungover. Yeah. That was the issue. Yeah, well, you fucked. Mary didn't use it. Um, like Mary. She didn't often shower at first. No. Yeah, she she didn't even clean her teeth. She day bitch. She um, <laughs> she had to. She's grim. She'll be upset. That's so <laughs> <laughs> you know what? She's gonna like, edit that. You know what? Now she should clean her fucking teeth. I offered her my toothbrush, and she said, "I don't. I wouldn't even use Thingy's toothbrush." I was like, "Right, okay." Thingy again. Thingy. <laughs> <laughs> so we had here's something that was great about this festival. It was the next thing that we did, and it probably got around to like one a.m. Uh-huh. One p.m. Oh, oh big jump we, there. We skipped. We skipped. And, and one of the th- one of the stands in the oh, camp brilliant. was noodles in a cup, yeah. like a pot noodle. But like, yeah. I don't even want to say pot noodle because pot noodle is shit. It was like a noodle snack in a pot. Yeah. But not like a pot noodle, like a super noodle or any other noodle. 
that's not a shitty pot noodle. Right. A, but a sober noodle. It, it, it is still a pot it's noodle. It's a noodle in a pot. Like just a... It was a brand we'd never heard of. It's still a pot noodle. It was a brand we'd never heard of called... Yeah. Aiki. Aiki. Oh, yeah. We haven't heard of that. Um, and we are connoisseurs and of... And they had, you know, it was a proper stand with proper, like, fixtures and they had a ball pit in, like, a big noodle bowl. It's like one of those things where you stand on a balance beam and you've like, got to knock each other oh, off with a... Right. It was a like proper... A yeah. It was a proper setup and... Um, and a bowl of noodles, a little cup of noodles was one token, yeah. and and we we had two of them each. Yeah, and we sat just for maybe like two hours in the campsite on the in the communal bench area, <laughs> while it was pissing. While it, it down. was pissing it down, <laughs> literally pissing our rain, and we just sat there in the rain because it was like, oh, there's not what we can do about this. We're wet. Let's yeah. just sit. And it was it, well, it, it ha- rehydrating, I guess. Yeah. But you know what? The noodle thing was great. I wish it I was. wish there was like the equivalent of it, that in the it's UK. It's so quick. Like, so quick turnaround. Like, in my head, right, is, you know, we'll use pot noodle as a thing, because that is the most common brand in the UK. You could have one of them, right? And I can just see it now. Reading Festival, beef tomato. That's kind of like the main flavour. Leeds Fest, curry is the main flavour. Like, you can still get them. Like, eat yeah, other flavours, yeah. but, like, they're the ones that they're going to advertise because it's the yellow and the red. I imagine. But you know what? It would work. They could charge, like, three fifty for one. Absolutely. Always have, like, a, like the pints at the bar, always got, like, ten of them ready to go, yeah. like, per vent, per server. There you go, there you go. And it was go. one of those where if you... Because some people... Obviously, it's a, it's a noodle thing that you can buy over in Belgium. People had their own that they brought... So if they took it to that stand, they could get Just hot get water for free. Up. Yeah, oh, that's sick. Yeah, and brilliant. this is a... Sorry, go on. I was just saying that's sick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, You've got headphones and, on. Even, and the problem. good thing about the tokens is there's no transaction time at all. No, you're that not, was brilliant. This was actually a real positive. You're not waiting for some idiot pissing about with cash. No. And you're not waiting for some guy who's put his pin in wrong or doesn't know where to tap his phone. Literally, and bang, then the, and bang, then the, na- the processing time of the, of the card reader communicating, it was just bang, one token, there you go. It's in my hand within two seconds. Lovely. Still don't like tokens. No, it? I'd still rather have it as just contactless. But that was that was a very now, good. I, now I think about it, I, I don't know. I mean, the speed of, of all the transactions this weekend. Was Maybe very, if very it was just tokens for the noodles. Tokens I don't for the noodles because of the bar, there was no queue either. No, there wasn't. There was actually no queue for anything. Not really. Food bar <laughs> showers. I mean, showers. To be fair, the only other place we've had I've had those tokens virtually. Like there weren't really queues at the bars. At, there, there were queues for food, but that's because was there a rock wedge? It wasn't a rock wedge, yeah. Yeah, yeah there's yeah, well. tokens, that, but for only for in that specific campsite that we had. Oh, is it just there? That'll be why then. Oh, oh yeah, they had the that, wristband thing. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I, I'm following you now. So you had to take the wristband thing over at tokens, but again, I still don't like that. I'd rather have. I'd rather have the wristbands than I've got wristbands. I'd rather have the tokens. I think now. Say it out loud. Mm, the, the only issue too with the tokens to is I've come they're not annoying to carry no but it because the thing is I was constantly worrying about losing them yeah you don't worry with a wristband in fact I'd rather just use my phone and pay yep. yeah, yeah there you go every day but here's it. another good thing with the tokens as well like you buy 50 of them 50 quids worth and you only have to expense one receipt yeah true which is the same for the RFID yeah just let me pay on my card yep. yeah but it was good at the noodle thing it was quick yeah, it was every nice. transaction was quick Right, what uh, what do you do after? You see any music? <laughs> see any so, so far we've seen Billy Irish. Yeah. And no, 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 DJ Fresh. And DJ Fresh. Yeah. Um, that what the what did we do? I've got the the raw footage here. We went and had an Aperol spritz. Ooh. So there was a lot of Aperol spritz for, no, for an hour. There was a lot of Aperol spritz drunk this weekend, and then we went and sat. Inside a concrete container. <laughs> for this is the sounds like. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? This you literally. And, and you know what? Container. And this is where we had. We started having a good vibe. Yeah. Because we were having great conversation. The, the, the thing, we don't the, normally have time. That for. is that is so, that is something that. It's kind of the the, the bad and the worst the worst thing about this festival is, all weekend we just talked. We, I don't think we've ever talked so much at a festival. And it was great. We're having some great conversations. The issue is, all we did all weekend was talk. Yeah. And we just sat talking. Yeah, it's hard to film that. 
Yeah. We were talking about, in the concrete container, we were just going through all the old discontinued chocolates and chocolate bars. And sweets. And like, oh, and it was great. Mars it was a really fun conversation to have. Mars Planets didn't have a chewy one. Yeah, they did. No, no it was a Malteser of, one. No, it's not branded as Malteser though, is it? You're thinking of Revels. Mary was thinking of Revels, yeah. But um, but there was still a crunchy one. There, there was, yeah. I knew there was a crunchy yeah. one. I know my Mars Planets, mate. Like... We, we should do it. We should. We should do a podcast on yeah, that. Yeah, there were like there were a Twix yeah, one. Should. There was not in so the no. Mars so, so the Mars like, the Mars Planets was all the components. It was oh, chocolate. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. It, there was a nougat. One, nougat. Like, what's it was, inside it, a Mars? Yeah, bar. it was nougat, caramel, and crunchy. It yeah. was. Yeah. And they were fucking banging. And then oh, lovely. We did that, f- and then we went straight back to the VIP area <sighs> again, and sat in there for another hour, and then. I had a shit. Wow. Wow. Yeah, I, getting proper granular I, 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 for I, I, I think I had one as well, actually. And then, oh, here's something cool. So we went Wah. to this, got a notification saying, visit the e Arena, which is one of the stages. Oh, yeah. For, the, for our first virtual headliner. So I was like, okay, what is this? Is it like a hologram or something? Tupac. Tupac. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's the same thought we all had. So we go in, and it's this lass no one's ever heard of, right. but she's a, a lass with an acoustic guitar. A acoustic. acoustic. <laughs> <laughs> that's a virtual acoustic. Got, got try a face <laughs> there, <laughs> three. I am so tired. <laughs> God, I'm so, ex- I'm so sick of this. And um, <laughs> <laughs> she's there with the acoustic, and she's doing a great job, and everyone's enjoying it. And, but it's like she's there. Like it's now virtual, but it's like a see her. Some kind of camera next to her. Mm. And it's not a camera. It's clearly some kind of imaging equipment. Yeah. Who's imaging equipment? <laughs> and um, and you're not going to believe what it was. Capturing. You can download Roblox and visit Puckle Pop in Roblox. <coughs> and oh, go which I did. That's quite cool. And go to the stages, and you can go to all the stages. And if you go to like the main stage, it, you're at the stage, but it's a big video. Like yeah. a bit in the game. Yeah. So you could go and jump about in the game and stuff. But go, for ooh. this one, jump. it was like live they, or as live as it could be, like real 3D it to render of her. As like a, wearing as a, the same clothes. That's as, pretty an, cool. as an in-game avatar. Yeah. That's pretty cool. It was, it's just very... This is my... I'll show you. I mean, you can't see <laughs> oh, it. Oh, man's got that default. That's my Mine's guy. That and then that was her. And like, she was literally like over there doing it live. That is quite cool. Oh, that like, is oh, cool. Was, it was actually really cool. It's in my head. It's like when you two watch the Travis Scott thing. Exactly oh, that. Yeah. yeah, just Roblox. Exactly <laughs> just that. Roblox. And I'd like to see more stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. Little Nas X did a Roblox one as well. Minecraft really cool. would be ideal for that. I think the problem with Minecraft, Minecraft isn't interested though, is it? Yeah. It's like for, Fortnite and Roblox works because like Fortnite's already got <laughs> the technology after the Travis Scott thing, yeah. and Roblox is like what just put squares there. Yeah. yeah. Make these squares jump around this person. <laughs> Now the crowd for everyone that we saw, except the EDM stuff, was pretty dead. Pretty I don't, tame. I don't even know. Even for that, it was it wasn't. Yeah, wild. Probably, yeah, probably right. So the next, the, we then went to see Limp Biscuit. Yep. Now they've just done a few shows in the UK, mm-hmm. and they went off, and it looked amazing, and yep. everyone had a riot. And they do this thing. And we that, saw them in. We saw them at um, Rock and um, Ring. Rock and Ring, and you brilliant. Know what? It was entertaining. They're yep. not, not one of my favorite bands, but it was it was good, and. And they did this thing that, that's in concept is like brilliant, mm. but it just didn't land with it, especially with a dead crowd. That's it. And that, that's what the main premise of this is like the crowd all weekend wasn't great. And they, so Blimp no Biscuit come out and they sound shit. And it's a joke because they've all swapped instruments. So like Fred's on oh. the guitar and like the, the guitarist is singing. <sighs> And like, and so it sounds like atrocious. Yeah. And then they're like, like, try again, guys. It sounds terrible. And it sounds terrible again, obviously. And that's the joke. And then like after three times, they're yes. like, do it properly. And then they, they start playing this proper tame, like jangly like thing. And it just <laughs> didn't, it just didn't grip Band. the crowd no. quick enough. And the crowd w- wasn't interested enough to allow it to grip them. We were quite far back anyway, mm-hmm. but... But it was pretty whack, and we, we didn't stay for all of that. No. We didn't even stay for half a Limp Biscuit. Guess where we fucking went? VIP bar? Wine bar? Straight to the, the a different VIP. Yeah. Oh, VIP was, village. Uh, sorry. This, this one had beanbags to lay down on. Oh, <laughs> oh, upgrade. Very important people. 
doing and, very important things. And we were <laughs> like, we were like, what, what should we do here? Because we we're not getting any video. Yeah, and we're not having a good time either. Mm. What should like we the do? fact that it was we were in a we were in a bit of a um like a crisis Look. moment to be honest with you. And I'm looking at hotels, and you were we were yeah. all looking at hotels. Like so, we were in a we were in a small town called ha- Hasselt. Hasselt. Has- Hasselt. Yeah, Hasselt. Something like that. Um, sure, it's not pronounced like that. <laughs> there's four hotels there. Put it like that. And I imagine they're all booked up. Well, would you oh, would you believe oh, I see. four hotels? On the weekend of a major festival, nope. there, was, there was no real headliner on for us to see on this Saturday because no. it Florence would have been Florence. Out. She pulled out. She got replaced with a band that I'm sure is really popular over in Belgium, but we've never heard of them. No, so fair enough. Like whatever. So we're like, what? Are that we last do? bit, Ginger Air was playing at Virtue because she's very big over. No, there. it was an indie band. Ah. Um, it uh, and like monkeys. Eh? <laughs> no, they were called like Balthazar or something, and they just announced like their retirement. Yeah, and then it was like, oh, they're gonna, they're gonna do this one actually last minute. Um, just a little bit of money and back. So we were, from. yeah, why not? Eh? Maybe they'd never done it, and they were like, we can end doing that, yeah, whatever. Yeah. But we were like, what should we do? And we're looking like we need to, like the vibes dead. Like yeah. your vibes dead. No, your vibes dead. Well, you're bringing my vibe down. Well, got my vibes good ideas. Never, my vibes never been. So we decide, like, let's fuck off from the festival yeah. and find some pubs. So Mary plans a pub crawl, and we, we go back to the tent. Because yeah. I'm wearing a Rangers shirt, so I'm like, I don't want to not be allowed into a yeah. pub. So we go back to camp, and we decide, that's when we decide, like, let's just book a hotel. Yeah. And, and, it, was like, and it was at that point, it's like, yes, come on, let's do it. Like, brilliant. Like, Everyone's excited. Yeah. When we got, like, this close, listeners are yeah. doing a little... Close so I'd I'd maybe looked an it. hour prior, like right, there is this. It's a bit expensive. It what was like it was like for two nights, so the Saturday night and the Sunday night. It was like through under three hundred quid. Yeah, it was pretty. It was, it was pretty like two eighty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then by the time we'd looked again, that had gone. Yeah. And then the only things that were there were like four hundred plus, and it's like no. and oh, we're yeah. thinking like you know you're thinking. There's my comfort, which is important, but then there's like we're here. We're already like a grand in. Yeah. We don't have a sponsor for this video no. yet. Sure we will have by the time it rolls around. Who the fuck's buzzing at our door? Don't Mary, know. I think. Why would Mary be? Because she's got some like camping stuff. Uh. <clears throat> I'll just <clears throat> check. Find my. Um, well, whoever it is, I've buzzed them in. Um, so, we, so we were like, we, we, we conceded to the tent again. We were like, we'll stay in the tent again, but let's go into town. So we went into town, 10 minute taxi into town, super easy. And that's when Mary's pub crawl started. Yes. She'd found eight pubs for us to crawl. Oh, wow. Oh, nice. In this little town. I mean, it's, it's Belgium, isn't it? Yeah, it's gonna be loads. and the this lovely. night, I might have misunderstood this, but I thought the general group consensus was we're going, leaving the festival and we're not returning. We're going to back to the tent, but we're not going back in. Yeah. I thought that was what we'd agreed. I which, thought that's what which it was meant well. that I wouldn't have got to see Chase and Status, which I'd have been. I could survive. Yeah, of course. But they were who I wanted to see yeah. Yeah. most on this lineup, aside from Macklemore. Um. So I've kind of traded off Chase and Status in my head for this pub crawl, mm-hmm. and I'm and I'm not I'm I'm not like upset or miserable or anything. I'm just knackered. Yeah, my feet are thumping. We walked to this pub. They don't take card. <laughs> it was so funny. It's called so, the Hedgehog. So Mary, we got Sonic. there. We got there. <laughs> we got there. And literally, we got outside the door. Because Mary had the um, maps on with the, with the voice. It's like, your destination is on your right. So everyone looked at us because like that noise had come out. The barman, you could just tell from the off, like he just did not want to like... Serve you. Serve us at all. Like he saw us, like spoke to his mate. It's like... <sighs> it was like... We, we, it's cash only. We don't take card. It's like, it was bad. okay. Don't, don't matter then. So first pub on the pub crawl, couldn't go to Cut it. Cut it off. And then we went to one. The next one was called the Barrel. The Barrel. So we go in and like I'm, I'm just so knackered. I'm just so knackered, and we sit outside. But there's no windows, <laughs> so you may as well be inside. But we sat outside to get a bit of airflow, whatever. I don't know why. We just sat outside. Yeah. It was just, it was a nice evening. It was, like, fine. It was just nice outside. And Mary's like, vibe killer. 
Well, we should be inside. Look at the vibe inside. And all there is inside is like a rotating... Coming in. There's someone there. Oh. I've tech... Coming I've, in. I've messaged her we're, saying we're leave it in there. We're, we're partying. Mary. We're doing the podcast here. Do you want to come say just, hello? If you just leave the stuff in the hall... See ya. Hi, thank you for bringing it. So Mary took us to the barrel. <laughs> <laughs> it was, yeah, so, you know, she's out. We're just talking about the barrel. She's having a go. Oh, I wish I could join in, but I really Believe me, me either, mate. <laughs> I'm telling the truth here. I'm telling the truth. Mary, now, why fuck you off. Jump in quickly? She's, not <laughs> she's not having it. All right. No worries. Bye, Bye mate. Bye. See you. Thursday. Um, so, yeah, we go to the barrel and it's fine. Like it's literally fine. But I'm not. I'm not miserable. No, I'm not like. I'm just knackered. That's the only thing. I'm just knackered. So I'm sat there like exhausted. And what I know what I need to do. I need to get drunk. I need to keep drinking. Mm. But like I'm not like bouncing off the walls. And because of that, I'm getting like vibe killer, vibe killer. You're bringing the vibe down. And no, like. And, and Mary's going to bring know, your vibe down more than being constantly saying. told. Ma Mary's admitted since then that, in a, not about this specific thing, but like she's been particular, you know, she, there's some, I don't want to say too much here, but like, you know, it was that time of month. Right? <laughs> <laughs> and she was just on a real short straw to the point where like she was almost crying because, oh, because of something like just not, significant at all yeah but that's what happens i think no and that's fine but it's like again it's an example of like you know she's getting upset about summer i can't remember what it was it was in that third pub that we went to which was the th oh um, yeah the one with yeah, the table yeah, yeah 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 and like and, it, and it's like well i'm too knackered to reassure you but and it was it was just not a good vibe no. really and and then our fourth pub was an Irish bar. An Irish bar. And that was the... Karaoke? That, that was all right. <laughs> no karaoke. Football, uh, though. Play the football. Uh, that was all right. In yeah, there. we had a nice time in there. And we started warming up then. Yeah, we did, yeah. We'd started warming up. To yeah, beca football. Because I'd realised that the plan all along was that we were going to actually go and see Chase Estates. Because what we're looking for is we're searching for this vibe. And like... We're searching for you know, this and, new vibe. And Mary's like, oh, you sat outside of the barrel instead of inside the barrel. Even though it's like literally like you and me separated with like a corrugated, Co eh? literally yeah, a corrugated like fence. Everyone yeah. knows what the barrel is. It's a barrel full of laughs. You know, and if you're outside it, you get getting. But we of went laughs. inside and the, and it was no different. But like, but <laughs> nah, there was a TV. It mind. was like okay, the barrel's so, a state of so mind. we're searching for this vibe by going to the barrel in this nowhere town when Chase and Status are on in an hour. Anyway, we got we went to the Irish bar. Went that, to, was, that was good. We warmed up a bit. In yeah, there, like went socially. to a lovely wine bar. Like a proper wine bar. Like Ooh, just fancy. served Bougie. wine and like charcuterie boards. And Someone it, come over and say, from the menu, sir. We went yeah, in. Yeah, literally, yeah, that, yeah. literally that. We and do you know what? Mary he was goes, sound. He was a genuinely like dude, nice guy. There he goes, do you have red wine? <laughs> 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 and so we didn't get the cheapest, but we didn't. We, it was the Did second get, cheapest yeah. that we got, and it came in like a proper glass. You know where you can smell it and everything. Did you get the second cheapest because you didn't look like you didn't want to look it like you? Yeah, no, the it, it, it sounded, sounded nice. It was it was something the other to do were with quite bitter, weren't they? It apparently. was something to do with racing, wasn't it? Yeah, the guy used to race horses who made the the wine. You're going right. to say Ferrari then? Or something. <laughs> no, no, no. But the guy, the guy that, that oh was, yeah, it was race car driver. Yeah, it was because because yeah, because they had the checkered flag on the yeah, table. Yeah, it did. Um, yeah, checkered flags for horses. But they that were really nice. Like Lovely just had a lot of time. Of he was talking about how he was going to pack up up. Sorry, I had a bit of an air, air pocket in my mouth there. Puckle pop. <laughs> um the, like on the Sunday. And it was just really nice. It was like right at this point it was like, right, we need to go now because we're gonna go watch Chairs and Stairs. Because it's like we're kinda because the thing is, some of the bars on this pub crawl were closed. <laughs> <laughs> so it was like, well, pointless. Great planning, eh? So you'd um, you'd been out and had three pints. So we yeah. We got, we'd probably had about seven or eight drinks. Yeah, we did. Yeah. So you, I know we were feeling good, you know? Yeah, and, yeah. And the, vibe, the, vibe, the vibe had picked up, to be fair. Like, we're all, we were, we were all kind of excited to go back, in a sense. The assassins had gone home. In a, essentially, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, I was mouthful. But, um, <laughs> so we got, we got back to site, and we went straight into arena, didn't yep. we? No pissed about at camp. And, oh, yeah, because we were literally, like, just in the nick of, of time. time. Who's Nick? 
And um, got no in, time. had a piss, got a drink, and Chasing Status had already started. Yeah. We got, oh, actually, so we did it around a little late, but... It only by like 10 minutes. Yeah, it was like 10 not. minutes. And the thing is, it's Chase and Status DJ set, and it's a thing they do called Return to Jungle. Now, I didn't know really anything about this, but they have an album of jungle music and yeah. an album called Return to Jungle. Now, I really enjoyed it. I want to be clear. I really did enjoy it, but it could have been so much better. It could have been like all the singles, you know. Or oh, just No More Idols. But all it was. Yeah, like all the No More Idols. I would love that. You know, man. what have you got? Blind Faith, End Credits, uh, no Let problem. You Go, No Problem. Like there is. Hyper they, they must have 15 bangers. Yeah. Like certified bangers. And all we got in the hour and 40 minute set was No Problem and a bit of Blind Faith at the end. That was it. And the rest was all jungle and emceeing and i really enjoyed it but like you want it i enjoyed it in the same way that like and and because mary hadn't been to tomorrowland and mary hadn't quite got the edm bug you know it's then like that summit's bringing the vibe down a bit and mary was glued to her telephone man she can come on here and defend herself but like she was it was from from the girl that was accusing me of being a vibe assassin in the barrel to to being in a tent with great visuals, screens like you've never seen before. Like they weren't like the best screens I've ever seen, but we'd never seen ones like this no. before. Like, like cinema, proper s- elongated screen, screen like yeah. all, that's going like all the way all around. around you yeah. in like a banner, and then great lasers. And it was a vibe in there for sure. I, I, I I'd go back to that again. Yeah, but Mary's just glued to her phone. Some of the messages she's sending are so big that. You know where it starts to push the text box up and then you can't see any of the thread? Yeah. And, and it's like... Right, and it, 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 didn't, it didn't detract too much, but it was more just like the principle of, I've just been chewed out for not smiling when we're sat in the barrel. And now here we are with one of London... London slash... Did they form in Manchester, maybe? Biggest, like, electronic music production... DJs. Uh, DJ things. DJ the the things. country's ever <laughs> produced... And yeah, they're not playing like all the hits, but like it's still, it's still good. yeah, it's still chasing status. Hey, I don't know anything, and I was I was loving it. It was great. You'd have loved it in particular, yeah, man. It, like that's the one thing I think from what you what you've seen the out of the many artists you see that sounds great. Yeah, and then um, played whatever, and and that was good. And then after that. We went back to the VIP, didn't we? <laughs> we did Which we? one? Which one? The village? Did or? we or did yeah, we call it a night? Well, no, I what think a we real went, deal. I think we went back for one more drink, didn't we? And the, do you know what the thing is? The reason we spent time in the VIP, because Mary Mary was always the one to suggest it. And she kind the of, go, eh? she knows that like, at me in particular, I don't like going in there. No. So she doesn't ask, because if she wants to go in, she's going to go in. But she kind of suggests it. And she was really surprised when every time I was like, yeah. But the reason I was comfortable doing it is because we'd spent so much on this festival that like it kind of is the real deal. Yeah. Like it's not like we've been given everything for free and we're sitting in the VIP all day. Yeah, we were accredited, but the tent cost more than the ticket and the taxi cost twice as much as the ticket. So yeah, you're damn right. I'm going to sit in the fucking VIP. (laughs) <laughs> um, and it felt all right. It felt excusable yeah. to to do that, especially with that being available to anyone willing to pay yeah. as well. Yeah. It felt authentic to be in there. Yeah, um, we didn't we didn't stay in there in there as long as we did the night before. Um, not at all. Yeah, we were we were we were walking back to camp at ten past three. Yeah, and Chase and State has finished at five past two. Cool. So Still we spent night. maybe an yeah. hour in there. Oh, late night. Yeah, cool. Especially after your late one before and then... And you've done your bar crawl. Yeah. But it felt like a good night. Yeah, it did. Like, we we did, we did we we went to bed There's quite. a lot of moaning on this, but it, but we were all pretty... It's in the we were all pretty happy. Podcast yeah, I mean, we, we... I remember... I specifically remember I was going to bed that night and actually laughing, like, laughing to sleep. Yeah, like we, we, were, we, we were having we, a good time. Yeah. And, and the tent wasn't as terrible as we'd remembered it. No. And it was, it was all just a hangover, though. Everything yeah. I've talked about is all just... Like under fueled. the umbrella, fueled oh. by the hangover, yeah. like the sh- the the shortness of patience with people's vibes, the the clashing of the you know, it was all just from the hangover. Like I'm still a bit like not hungover, but like I'm still On knackered edge. from this yeah. festival. Like we only landed yesterday, yeah. and we'd done two podcasts since, and packed for Leeds Fest, and tried to get all Leeds Fest stuff done. It's still not done. Like 
it's Puggle Pop as a whole has been just a, a bit of a drag. Yeah. And we could have done ourselves a favour by not getting so drunk on that first day. And it really <laughs> is on us that yeah. Puckle Pop's getting maybe a bad rap when it shouldn't because and I think we say this in the video, like, it's probably great. The lineup's just a bit mid, and yeah. we're just not in the mood. It's the only one since All Points East last year where just no one's in the mood. Interesting, though. Same weekend. Yeah. Literally same Very weekend. Very interesting, that. Oh, it's All Points East. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Maybe it's something to do with the, that time. We mm. should... I mean, we sh we shouldn't have gone to All Points East because no. this it was a good experience. But but then, like, I'm looking at my camera roll, like, what's the next thing? The next thing is 1 p.m. Yeah. Yeah. Sat in the VIP village. And do you know what we did? <laughs> Drank. <laughs> Unashamedly, we laid down on those bean bags for two hours. Two to three hours. Wow. We just laid and there. Desperado after desperado. After it was, we, we, just did, we just did rounds. So it was like, right, who's going up next? Right, cool. April Spritz, and April it was Spritz, great. Desperados. It was great. Yeah. Checked us in for flight. Got a nice bit of food afterwards in the general area yeah went to see Macklemore who was my brilliant person I was Absolutely looking forward to brilliant. most I really We've, do we like haven't him. seen him since 2014 yeah Leeds Fest I am um, 10 years ago I think he's brilliant really underrated great entertainer mm -hmm. it was it was really good that did he do the same love yep he did he did fucking everything man he truly was brilliant very very good Mary was a bit like Oh, he's giving too much love to the to I the band. I sound like I sound like I'm having a go at Mary, here and maybe I think know. it's just sibling love you're giving. No, it. but but it's <laughs> objectively like again, it, it it just no no diss to Mary. Like we've all got she's got like we've all got valid reason, especially on this weekend after being so knackered. But like Mary just wasn't vibing with it because no. the girl next to her was dancing too oh, hard. Of course, and, yeah. And then like Macklemore went round and and thanked he, and credited each member of his band. Oh, like I, I, as, as, yeah, as a lot of acts do, yeah, and, and oh, it's too long. It's too long. So I'm there trying to get into it, and also like when it's an act you like, you're almost kind of subconsciously trying to sell whoever you're with on. Oh, yeah, yeah. So All when the they're time. not having a good time, you know, it's it dampens your it, thing. It, yeah, it plays on um, your mind. You can't fully invest into it. And I was watching Same Love, which I love that song. It's one of my favorite songs ever, and it's quite an emotional song, and I really love that song. And I'm vibing with it, and I'm like, you know, really kind of enjoying it. And I've got Mary morning. The, the last next to us, like, moving. Well, you move there then if you, like, this is what she's saying to me. You swap with me. So I swap. Oh, she's gone now. Like, and it was just like, I'm not having a go at you, Mary. I know that we were all knackered. And if it weren't you doing it, it would have been someone else. So it would have been me doing it to someone else. But it, it was just He's another another example. <laughs> it was just Thingy. another example. I was of in like such chill mood always. Double yeah. like uh, uh, someone's on one vibe, someone's on the total opposite vibe. It seems like yeah. Vals was perfectly in the middle. Of the <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do, do, do you know what I was? So I, I, I've got I've got a new catchphrase from this weekend. And it's it's just going like. All right. <laughs> it's just like, it was just, it was, as right, I was doing it right, on the on right. the pub crawl, of just like to channel like ease, like the, the tension. Like, I was just like, all right. The party, it the party it was, started it, now. It, it, it was hard work, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. And then we saw Macklemore, and then the next thing, in, that was at <laughs> seven, and then the next thing in my camera in. roll is at half, half ten. Wow. So we must have gone into the VIP Killers? bar. <laughs> I mean, I... I yeah, you definitely did. I and can't then imagine we went how to see. Done. We went to see. Yeah, we did. We did. No, we because we did that. And oh, and we were playing. Yeah, we went to so the, the, the one of the main things we did all weekend was play categories. Categories. Oh. We just sat and played. Like it was categories. great. And we, we found some good ones where we we went for like thirty minutes. Harry, Harry Potter, Potter characters, characters was like oh, a big one. Like Footballers. Going back to the fucking Oh, listen to this as well. We sat in the Lipton. So Lipton's a big oh, sponsor. Oh, this is great. Oh, the, I um, see. Yeah, 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 yeah. And we sat in like the Lipton's Lipton, nice. like they've got bleachers that you can sit in and a cocktail bar in the middle. Mm, so we get some cocktails cocktail. and mojito, really nice yeah, mojito. Yeah, gin like, cocktail. Mojito. Three of us were sat at the top of the ble bleach in the back corner and this gentleman comes up, uh, like quite a lot of, of, of Belgian and, and people from the Netherlands who uh, watch the channel Really nice. Yeah, uh, this lad was no exception. Came up, asked for a picture. Mary's sl sat like facing us. We're facing him. She's got her back to him, so she needs to spin round. Now he just puts his drink on the on the chair, on the seat, and Ma and Jake says twice. Mary, watch that drink as you spin round. Yeah, yeah. 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 She starts spin round. He goes, Mary, watch that drink. Yeah, yeah. 
She knocks the drink <laughs> on the fucking floor. Oh, she does. So we give the guy the tokens for the drink, like to go and reimburse himself. And he was nice because we gave him three tokens. And he was like, it's actually a virgin one. So he took, you know, gave us like one and a half tokens back. Got a picture and stuff. But but we sat there playing Harry Potter characters categories for. Oh, I can't think of forever. any film worse for me. Oh, it was no, brilliant. it was good fun because it was. We did like a whatever festivals, wrong. Simpsons characters. Yeah. There was a few that went on for uh, footballers. For footballers football was a great one. Yeah, football was. clubs was a great one as well. Um, God, yeah, that had gone for ages. That. Yeah. But you just kind of, even when it seems obvious, you just, even when you know, you know, when sometimes you just can't spit one out. Yeah, and, it's and annoying. That's the annoying. But we all wanted to get drunk and we all knew we wanted to get drunk. So everyone just had an, like almost infinite leeway with how long they've got to, to choose yeah. one. Uh, and then we went to see The Killers. And... It was the deadest crap. I, I I like the killers a lot. I like them a lot. I, I I like them a lot more than what I what I did when I when we first saw them last year. I've never seen them live, and I'm just not that. Well, this is it. So all. me and Rob went to the academy last year to go see them because they're doing a very special, Real like special, intimate thing, gig yeah. at uh, Academy in Sheffield. And I we, we went, and I was like, it was all right. Like I didn't really care that much. But it's because like that there's such a big band that need that presence on a big stage kind of thing. Yeah, they do. Um, it didn't really work in a in a smaller venue, and it was great. I actually really I enjoyed it. It was great. It was I really a, enjoyed it, and it, I'm looking forward to seeing them this weekend. Yeah, if I'm going to be honest with and, you. And I'm looking forward to seeing them the next two weekends. Yeah, oh, sorry. Yeah, because yeah, um, right. they are great. Like they've got the, even the songs you don't know. Like you can hear the words. Yeah. Sometimes when you listen to a song you don't know, you can't really kind of put it together. I don't know if that's just me. No, no. But like, it's hard to piece it together and really really know what you're seeing. Like, I kind of invent my own thing of what I'm hearing unless I'm looking at the guitarist or the drummer. Yeah. I don't know if that might be just me. No, I, like, I get it. The Killers, it's really clear on a plate for you. Here's what you're getting. Here's what we're singing about. This is what the song is. And really, really great performance. The best live drummer I've ever seen in my He's life. He's incredible. Very, it's the very little, good. it's the such subtle nuances. Like I don't know how to describe it. Drummers who know what they're on about, which is not me, will know. But like, there's a thing where like, he'll do like four snare hits in like an eighth count, but he's drumming sixteenths, and half of the notes are ghosted, and anyone else would just do it as just like four things, but he's like doing it at double speed and accenting the ones that need to be heard and the others, you can't even hear them, but he just loves drumming so much that he's just like, Adding the extra. he's overdoing it, but not in a, like what I do when I'm drumming along to something and if I'm having a good day, I overdo it, but to the detriment of yeah. the yeah. song. And I, and it's just like, fill, 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 like, I, you know, just over, over complicating it. Whereas he was over complicating it in a rewarding way for himself while it sounded fucking brilliant yeah. and true to the original recording, though, with a bit of spice, he was absolutely fucking excellent. When's wedding? I know. <laughs> Jesus. Man, like I, I, I really, I was <laughs> just mega impressed. Like, you don't think of the killers. You'll, you'll, you'll understand that the weekend. You don't think of the killers as, like, this... I mean, as I, I don't think of them as bad musicians, but you just don't think of them as, like... You forget that, like, actually, they've been going for probably 25 years mm -hmm. now. No, 20, 22 years. Jesus. And they're incredibly competent, and they're incredibly professional. The guitarist was brilliant. Yeah. <clears throat> and, yeah, it was it was a great performance of a AAA worldwide headlining band. The crowd was just so fucking dead. dead. Terrible. Like an American crowd. It was worse. It, so it, the, the thing I know... There wasn't it, even a cheer when they came on. No, there wasn't. Oh, yeah, it was, yeah, it was bad. That is bad. It was a very... So one thing we experienced this weekend, which is, feels like something we've not experienced at all, there was so much like litter on the floor. Yeah. Like proper reminiscent of like Leeds Festival or something like that, where everywhere you walk, there's just shit all oh, over. You go in the, the go in the campsite awful, it? and it's a fucking war zone on that Monday morning, whatever. Like it there was is a just right pigsty. Wasn't yeah, it? it was just a real. But like, well, then you ask me, oh, what's the um, the age demographic? It was so varied. It is something fucking mental, and you'll have seen my story. But if you haven't listened, oh, I think or, I know. like if you haven't seen my story. You can drink at 16 oh, at this festival. Oh, yeah. yeah. I saw that. Yeah, like, you can that. drink at 16 but, as long as it's beer. Yeah. You can't drink wine and you can't drink spirits. But isn't that mad? That is yeah. mad. But, I'm not saying it's good or bad. I just think it's mad. But 
it is crazy legally. Yeah, they can do that. But realistically, every country's drinking underage. Of course, yeah. But, but so, is it, so is it not maybe better to just make it available? And yeah, and I think it's better. But maybe you know, depends. are they maybe are they maybe less inclined to drink vodka? that might do more damage or put them in worse situations yeah. I don't because know, they know like, right, I've got two years on the beer. Yeah. Yeah, but maybe maybe that makes them want to speed run maybe. to vodka maybe. because they're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I've got to wait two years for that. But it was... it was got to wait two years for the same thing that's going to fuck me up. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't uh, we didn't see really... We saw a bit of mischief, but it, I didn't feel unsafe. It's on full already. <laughs> Apart from one guy I'd kind of started on. <laughs> oh, I don't remember this. So... We were, we're, it was, oh, we're, sorry to interrupt. I just want to say we've just got a new fifty-pound Patreon. Oh, big yeah. up! Oh, um, amazing. So thanks so much to Deanne St. John. There. Oh, thank, thank you. you. I hate to interrupt the flow, but that's a colossal contribution, and thanks so much. Yep. So when we came back from our pub crawl, we were walking to the toilet quickly, and there was these lads behind us. And they did the thing where they like, tap you on the shoulder, oh, but it's on yeah. the, oh, the but they're on the other side here. He was tired here, like like me. The thing is, I was actually fine. I was actually in a good mood. Oh. It was just a case I couldn't be asked. This would not get anyone else angry unless you were tired. Y- yeah, but and fair play because it would have done me as well. And you do get really. And, angry and he did that, tired. and I was like, uh-huh. did it again. I was like, I can't be fucking dealing with this. So I walked up to him. I was like, don't you fucking dare do that again. And he was like, what? <laughs> and he walked off and he just fucking did it again and I was like do you know what and I'm then gonna... he came and told me about it and we went for a piss and I stood next to him and I did it to him <laughs> in the toilet and he looked that way as well he looked I was way. so annoyed god <laughs> oh but yeah the killers it was a proper like lackluster reception yeah. and they still gave it a great performance yeah I think they changed the set list up a bit you were saying yeah the ha- I, c- it, I can't work it out I mean then again we were looking at the set list FM whilst they were playing and, and it, was it was just, just wrong. wrong yeah. <laughs> it was all wrong. Um, so I but, couldn't really trust it But anymore. they played like all the hits, just not necessarily in the order I'd won them. No. Um, but in an order that retained my attention throughout still. Yeah. Even with the ones I didn't know. And they ended on bright side, which you'd kind of think they would, but they didn't yeah. last time we saw them. And I don't think they usually do. And it was uh, such a, a strange rendition. Yeah. Because it was just keys and vocals for the whole first verse and chorus. And then the guitar kicked in, which yeah. is what everyone wants to hear. And just and started all over again. first verse and chorus again. No second verse and second chorus. And then like the middle eight and then the end. And, a, and, a bit of, and there was a good bit of like... Um, Back and forth. You know, big, um, you know, big rock ending oh, yeah. with yeah. it kind of thing. Um, but yeah, they were great, man. And it was, yeah. it was a good way to end. And, and we were kind of dreading dreading the next day because number one we've got to get the taxi again to the airport yeah. and mm. it's just a day where we never stay on Sundays no, at a festival and that's because we like to start our week on a Monday being productive getting shit done yeah. I start the edit you start all the graphics and stuff and we've, we, we're have we doing shit yeah. and our week starts we don't want to lose a Monday no. Monday is a really productive day um, but because we lost the Thursday and the Friday of this essentially we were like let's We'd pre-planned. Things yeah, I mean, we, we had was, a full-on week. Like the we previous, need, we need to week. because we were losing the Thursday, which looked sick. It was like, well, let's do the Friday, Saturday, Sunday night, yeah, and we'll go home on the Monday. But then after Killers, it's like, oh, so God, I just we're using our whole Monday. We're sleeping in that shitty tent. We've got to walk to a taxi. We've got to hopefully get a taxi. Yeah. We've got to pay hundreds of euros for the taxi. We've got to go to that shitty airport. We've got to get the flight that hopefully might be delayed. Yeah. And then we've got to get the train from Manchester Airport, which hopefully is also not going to be delayed. And then, you know, and then I'm home. But then you've got to get another bus back yeah. home. Mary's got to get another taxi. And and we were dreading it. And we, we woke up and... And everything went flawlessly on it, that Monday. It, I've wow. never had such a perfect travel day as what that was. End it was to end. flawless. Everyone was... Uber instantly booked. Nice guy. Really nice. Yeah, 250 euros. But do you know what? Cheaper. I, I, Cheaper, I don't least. mind that. Yeah. Got to the airport. Zero delays. You know when it's like, oh, your flight's at five past 12, whatever. It's like, oh, yeah, whatever. Flight five past twelve up I'd, in the I'd air. Had time for a Burger King in there. Burger had King time as for well. Shit. Yeah. Um, got a, back to Manchester. 
yeah, straight, straight through. through. God, like, I've never. Oh, it was a day of great staff. Yes, we it said was. This. Yeah. Every member of staff we interacted yeah, you're right. with. The guy, the taxi driver, nice, had sweets in the in the yeah. car, had a charger if yeah, you, you want to charge up. Fun. Wow. Um, just a nice guy. Had a bit of, a bit of back and forth yeah. with us, but not too much, so we could kind of zone out because it's an hour. And, it was about an hour and 40 minutes, I think, wow. um, that leg. No wonder it cost so much. <laughs> and then we get in to the... To the to the airport and the oh, someone else was really good, but I can't remember who it was. Security was easy, it was super short. Yeah, security uh, was easy. You met you met you met some guys at the Burger King. They were nice. Oh, um, and this, yeah, and this was nice as well. I met. We're in the queue for the. This is different guys to the guys at Burger King. They were just getting in, um, and I'm I'm dissing Puckle Pop, which I shouldn't have been doing because it, it's not Puckle Pop's fault, and it's legitimately a good festival. But I was saying how it's got no edge and it's kind of like the worst of like Rock Wurcher mixed with like the worst of Leeds Fest. Yeah. yeah. And and this guy in front is like, he turns around, he's like, oh, you want about Puckle Pop? And we exchange a few pleasantries. And then he's like, by the way, I watch all your videos. <laughs> yeah. so I was like, oh, cool. And then lo and behold, by random chance, I'm sat next to him on the plane. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. I didn't tell you yet. No. I, my, we never pay for the seats unless it's a long haul. Um, so we just get randomly allocated and, and I was just by chance out of the hundreds of combinations I was just sat next to this guy and it was nice because we had a good chat he was very likable he told me about some of the stuff he's doing in the year I told him about some of the stuff that we've done and it, it was just a nice nice chat you know and it, and it made the time so it made the time go a bit quicker yeah I mean it was a super I, I can't believe how quick I mean the flight is less than an hour it was so good. They're the best flights, man. Yeah. yeah going literally. up. And by the time you're up, you're going straight back down. Yeah. Like, yeah. Literally, like, you could see, if it wasn't for this going over the sea, you'd have, like, a view of the land all the way. Yeah. And, um... That's how it works. Yeah. yeah okay. <laughs> that's 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 you can go if, too high. If you weren't flying over the sea. You can go sea. too high, can't you, to see it? And there's too much in between. Uh, I guess so. Uh, Absolutely so. Okay. But there's times could, that that would have gone to forty thousand feet for that flight. No, oh, definitely right not. Been so that's thirty three. That's my point then. So it was lower than it normally is, and you can tell that <laughs> we we all know what. All yeah, we. Know. <laughs> so um, so yeah, got to Manchester Airport, and you know that bit where you put your air, your passport in the airport machine. You go straight up through. Um, but like you know the guy that's normally there waving you, or the last yeah, miserable yeah. as fuck. Yeah. This guy, hello there, sir. Just go to number five for us. Oh, oh you got a you got a great mustache. Uh, so, you know, a bit of banter yeah, with him. Yeah, yeah. Like, and he was nice to everyone and just elevating the spirit. Yeah. And then we got through, um, got on the train. The guy on the train oh, on the brilliant. fucking tannoy. Brilliant. Like, Nobody on this train better have a naughty northern ticket because it's only Transpennine Express available. Is is like proper, like nice, vibrant, like camp banter. entertainer. I think yeah. I've been on his train before. He was brilliant. <laughs> and then and he came over to us. And he's, uh, like, he's cool. like, oh, so he goes into the cabin, you know, whatever you call it, the carriage. And he's like, right, everyone get your tickets, rail cards, and excuses at the ready. <laughs> <laughs> and, and he comes over to us, and I'm like, I don't need an excuse, mate. Here we go. So he zaps our things and then he zaps the rail cards. And for the first time ever in history, my rail card app's just not working. <laughs> so we have a good bit of banter about that. And and it was just nice. Yeah. Good. And we got home in good time. Yeah, yeah even considering me, I still got home earlier than I thought I was going to. So I say, you're back in flat by like... Three. And it's been yeah. non-stop frustration since I got back yesterday. Yeah. That way, you used all your karma, all your good luck. It, I did. Yeah, I used it one all. day. And now, and then you're down yesterday, the I was pissed off because the window didn't open and the toilets are broken. So fucking irritating. The toilet's fixed now, and as you can see, the window's open. Woo! They, um, the, Incredible. They, they have like a bracket that they put on behind the builders so that you can't open your window when they're going up and down. Oh, and they left it on? They just left it on. I was tempted Great. to unscrew it, but I don't want to cause any issues. Like, But they're causing you an issue. I yeah. know, but like if I uns you can unscrew it, it's just, yeah. a, it's, just, it's just like a bolt. But is that then going to mean they put like a dead bolt on it? Or something where it's Climb like your window. Yeah. <laughs> Surely they can't do that. <laughs> we say they can't, but they literally physically could. And then what's the process if they You've do? got to climb up. You've got to climb up on some ladders and, and do then, yourself. Uh, you know, and so yesterday was annoying. And then today, like just doing the truck video, man. Oh, it's oh, taken oh, all of my day. Like slug. doing the truck video, doing the leads prep and um and stuff's still not done. No. Like the truck video is still demonetized and I've got seven different versions of it uploaded. 
It's ridiculous. I don't. I don't get what it's. I mean, like I, I've been through it. it. I've, I've been through it. Yeah, like literally three of us have all been through it and skimmed through. What do you think could be flagging it? Here's the timestamps. What do you think could be it's flagging it? Literally Here's the time every stamps. single thing that we thought. Right, let's just throw whatever at the wall and see what sticks. And none of it. None of it. So we've got it uploaded now seven times, seven different variants, and each one of it's been flagged. But it's like this with podcasts at the minute. They're all getting demonetized, and we're actively like choosing to not say certain words to see if it changes anything. And it's just not. They're all getting demonetized. But for it's interesting with God this what. one, like, because it's not. There obviously is something in there, because like none of the others get demonetized. Some of them get flagged after the fact, like, um, you know, trees download and actually transmit it's just been flagged as well Interesting. but like don't care we've already made the money yeah. from that that's fine i don't care about that but it's that first like hundred thousand views that you need to be monetized yeah. 150 000 views really and you know what could it be like edited out a, a we're, we're at the point now where we're editing out like comedy goals right yeah n- n- i part- don't think i don't think we've sacrificed too much but, but like we're like, could it be like the shot of a toilet, like a clean toilet? Could it be the mention? Edit that of, out. Of Mary of said it. the c word. Edit that out. Like, ch- there's a bit where like I get cramp. There's Chucky gets cramp, and I've edited it like a war scene in the background from <laughs> Saving Private Ryan, and there's no gore or anything in there. But like, could it be that that's gone now? And I was thinking like, do we just put it up as it as it originally was? And I was gonna do a thing at the start like, hello. I hate to say this, but this video has been demonetized. There's a thanks button there that we never talk about. Yeah. Sling us a quid on there if you're not a Patreon and if you've got a spare quid and we'd really appreciate it because then hopefully we can at least break even. Yeah. But I just couldn't bring myself to do that because we've already got a sponsor in there and we've already got the Patreon shout out as mm-hmm. well. well. So it's just annoying. We'll still. see what happens. We're at a stage now where it's too late to do anything more. Yeah. It's totally fucked my day. Yeah. And hopefully... In two or three days' time at Leeds Fest, we'll get a ping back from all the manual reviews saying they're all fine. Yeah. And then we can lead with the first one and we're good to go. Great. But it means that like you don't have the shit you I know, need. I'm that's so that's all the, the social th- stuff's not scheduled. Yeah. It's a real pain in the ass. Yeah. But hey ho, you know, just it's just it. it's just, you know, every uh there's pros and cons and everything. It's just the um the time between Pucker Pop and Leeds Fest just hasn't helped. No, no. could have done with just a day and absolutely nothing. Then this could have been my Monday, just powered through and got everything done, and then maybe got a Leeds on the Friday. Not that I wanna. No, I wanna go to Leeds for the full thing, and I'm I'm actually really really excited about it, with a few exceptions. Um, but I know because Thingy's there. Yeah, because Thingy, you know, <laughs> somebody's yeah, there. It's more just the morning tomorrow that I can't be fucked with. Yeah, like, me too. It's not like I was hoping that the groups wouldn't have to merge. The, the leads of it will be out by the time yeah. this is done. Yeah. I was hoping that our two groups wouldn't have to even see each other until like everyone's happy and everyone's like merry. Maybe on the Wednesday night, maybe for Piccadilly. At, but I really wanted to build in that kind of separation. Yeah, separation. Yeah. Like, but uh, but it, there's potential and very likely that all of us are just going to be sat waiting for the box office to open together, which Most definitely. makes you... From the content, it doesn't matter, but it, it makes you believe in it less. I don't yeah. know if that makes sense, but like, oh. I want to feel like I'm at a festival without you guys in the right way, and I want you to feel like you're at one without me, and it's n- it it just ruins the illusion. Yeah, but surely we're like we're gonna be meeting each other for a day and stuff, though, aren't we? It's not like we're. <laughs> you know, I mean, on the on my weekend, why would we? Yeah, that's the, the whole yeah, point. What, that's the, the whole point. The f- I guess the Friday, Saturday, Sunday. There's gonna be times where we no, will no, have to. I'm bump. not. Yeah, no. We want to. I want to see 1975 with everyone. Broco as well. Like, yeah, of course. But but it's not like we're gonna go sit at your I camp. Get, yeah, I guess the we want to be like as separate as possible. I guess the best way to do that is maybe maybe tomorrow, just like at the box office, just be like. May the may the best team win in some regard. Yeah, yeah. Be like, yeah. you fuck off, and you know we don't you, share any footage. Yeah, and we, um, you know, maybe I don't know what the Wednesday night's going to look like. Oh, I think we're going to have a brilliant Wednesday. We've day. got a we've got a great Wednesday night. Oh, let me tell you. Do you know we've what? A, maybe we'll fun. maybe we'll head on down to Piccadilly and meet some people. Maybe we won't. Maybe we'll. Maybe if you guys want to come into general, we can go hang out at, at Piccadilly. Maybe we won't. And that's the thing. Like. For our video to be what I want it to be, it really is like a no pressure a nice, kind of thing, nice which bit is of very a rare. Mystery factor for it. Yeah. For once, yeah. we haven't got a set structure. I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. I have, a, I've, I'm sure you'll I have see a lot on of the faith review. in it. You'll see on the review. Some, you know, you got some. 
we tried to split the groups as well. This is the Leeds Fest conversation. <laughs> yeah. And we've gone on to the Leeds Fest conversation when I could be having a bath. <laughs> Surprised you've not already had one. <laughs> I've had two. Yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> you've had two. Well, I, well do you know like what, three, mate? I'll be honest. Three baths there's, a day. In. There's one about 20% ran already. But then I remembered we've got a fucking podcast to do. Oh, and, and I just put a, the bubble uh, back got in. A, an order to put in. I know. Are we we, sh- we should have done that halfway through. I, yeah. I thought about it as well. I, I didn't. Did I, didn't well. I didn't mention anything. Can we? Um, let's do that now. Let's order a Domino's. Yeah. Cool. And we'll maybe sling on some Leeds videos if, yeah. and, and watch yeah. them together. Well, I think that makes it perfect time to end this podcast. Then maybe yeah, we'll get some food. Get go. some uh, some. Vlogs don't go. Thanks everyone for listening. Thank you for joining us. Moan yes. about Puckle Pop. Um, it's probably not that bad. No, of course it's not. And no. I think we've done a good job of covering. Yeah. Th- this was our bad. Yes. 100%. It was a bad squad. And it who it it was a squad who were not in the mood. And, yes. it, and then they were enhanced by the hangover. Yeah. Or dehanced. Good night. Which is, you, <laughs> right, then I, I guess that's that. Thank you all for joining us. Um, love you free. And I love all of you at home. And all you listening, you might be at home. You might be at home. But bye. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 bye.